Welcome to the Comfort Keepers Davy Podcast, where we elevate the human spirit. Here's your host, Christy Grulay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Comfort Keepers Davy Podcast. I'm your co-host, Jeremy Wolf, and I'm joined by, of course, your host, Christy Grulay. Christy, I say this every time, always a pleasure to see you, but it truly is always a pleasure to see you. How you been? Good, good. Happy Monday. Happy uh, fall, right? Since last we've spoke, we're now officially into fall, which is exciting. Yeah, holiday time. Let's let's get excited for that. It'll be fun, fun, <laughs> fun with the family. Uh, so I know we, we've been talking a lot about uh, kind of signs to look for uh, in your loved ones. Uh, there could be something going on. And, and last episode, we talked about uh, the various stages of Alzheimer's and dementia. And you kind of gave a broad overview, went through a lot of it. What I thought we would do is kind of hone in a little bit and talk a little bit more in depth about these specific stages so that people know not only what to look for, but also what to do when they encounter something that could be an issue. So why don't you share with the listeners a little bit about the early stages, right? Like the before, before you would even come into the picture, notice right. something going on with uh, mom or dad, whatever it is, what are some things that you can do early on to you know, combat this from moving forward? Yeah. So a lot of times um, when you start to notice that your loved one, mom or dad is, is becoming a little bit more forget, forgetful, um, sometimes it's just great to have a conversation with them, just a, a realistic conversation. How can we help you remember um, implementing some new things in the home? So when I'm called and asked for advice at this stage, this is what this is what we talk about. So we have like a big calendar. Maybe it's on the refrigerator. We have a big wall calendar, just different reminders for for them so they don't get frustrated if they start to uh, forget uh, details um, after that. It's usually when we start to become involved with ourselves coming into the home. Um, that's when we're coming in to make sure that parents are eating, that they're eating properly, that they are, um, in fact, getting it to their appointments and not getting lost on the way. That can become a really frustrating and scary thing for families to have to worry about their loved one getting to appointments. So um, when it becomes when it gets to that stage, two to three, usually, if we were going to classify somebody, that's when Comfort Keepers is called in to help. But I do need to say that everybody progresses differently, right? So there are those that I come in much later in the picture and others that I'm there in the very beginning. Um, and if I am there closer to the beginning, then I like to implement games. I like to do memory um, memory games, things to keep the brain elastic. You know, we're hands-on, tactile, uh, connect for um, little things that we can do during our shifts with clients so that we can um, make sure that they're mentally engaged. Yeah, I, I think this also speaks to, at least with me, where I'm at with my life, I notice more and more that the less I do in terms of being consistent, exercising, eating healthy, the more I steer from that path, <laughs> the more of that brain fog and confusion I tend to get throughout my days. And then when I really hone in and I, I, I say, you know what, I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. every day, I'm going to run in the morning, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to do these things, I start to see more clearly. And I think a lot of the issues that elderly, not always, but a lot of the issues that people encounter in old age are just a result of them not having... Um, the right preventative methods in place. So it speaks yes. to uh, taking care of yourself, not just when you're 75 and, and, and have a problem, but yeah. throughout your whole life, right? With yeah. proper diet habits and, Absolutely. Uh, and everything, right? Yeah, it all starts foundationally. And um, I think that once something is implemented, it needs to be very routine because that's something that also helps with memory. We're going to remember that we're coming in a couple of days a week. And even if we aren't there, but family's doing something that they stick to a routine to also help, um, again, just that foundation re-encouraging and strengthening. Yeah, for for sure, 100%. So any anything else you'd like to share about kind of this early stages, uh, signs to look for, things like that. Anything you'd like to share before we wrap up? 
Well, I think that the last thing that I'd say is that, you know, just self-reflect, right? We don't like to say when we're having a problem with anything, right? That's That tends to be the case when you address something that you're seeing and they really don't want to cause any additional stress on you. So when there's denial, it's just, just, just be gentle, just be really soft in the conversation. I have a lot of family members that want to talk to me about how do you talk to them because they deny that they have the problem that I'm seeing, that they're forgetting things. Just gentle reminders. How can you be more involved in their day-to-day without becoming the parent yourself of your parent? Um, and it all starts with just really soft conversations. All right. Awesome. So we'll, we'll wrap it up there. And I think um, we can get into some of these other stages in a little bit more depth moving forward. So we shall do that. Christy, always a pleasure. We'll, uh, I'll see you very soon. Very, very soon. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Comfort Keepers Davy podcast. For more information, visit comfortkeepers.com or call 954 954- 947-7927.